Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is doing great out there. Today, I'm going to make taro leaves with corned beef. So you, I'm gonna cook it in a frying pan and um, I'm making some potato salad. Um, uh, we're not gonna have with food, we're gonna have potato salad with this. And I'm gonna uh, make some crawfish. I'm gonna boil some crawfish and mussels and mussels here. so um so that's what i'm gonna make today so let's get started opening this up this is my corned beef i'm also gonna make some otai orange otai moli okay all right let's get started Open this up. This is the uh, Kapapulu. This is from uh, Ox and Palm. And I got this from the Tongan store. And um, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna make this without tomatoes because I ran out of tomatoes. So so don't come at me. All you Polly's out there, don't come at me because I don't have tomatoes in my loo, okay? Thank you. Whoa, that looks so delicious. So we're gonna make loo with capapulo in my frying pan okay i just have red onions in my house so that's what i'm gonna use Go ahead and cook our onions. I've already chopped them up. I'm gonna let it uh, cook in there. I hope everyone is doing great out there. Today is a Sunday. Um, this may not be posted until tomorrow. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, mix that up. Add some crushed pepper, just a little bit. Have minced garlic here. Those of you who follow my channel, uh, you already know that I like a lot of garlic. I'm gonna add some minced onion. Some garlic powder. Okay, go ahead and stir that up. Stem of the loo. I'm gonna cut that in here. Give it some time to cook. Thank you. 
throwing in some unsalted butter. Not much, just uh, grease. So that's the, what we're cooking here. Just season it with your favorite seasoning. Add some paprika, sesame oil, Okay, we'll let the we'll we'll let the stems cook first. Okay, you guys. So here's our water. Our water's boiling now for our crawfish. I'm gonna add some all-purpose seasoning. Okay, you guys. I have my onions. I'm gonna throw in there. I got ginger in here, the minced garlic in there. I'm throwing in some Maggie seasoning and oyster sauce in there. And mussels. I've already rinsed it. Okay, I'm adding some lemon pepper on the crawfish. guys let's put a lid on it and let that cook now we'll, we'll let it cook for about 30 20 to 30 minutes and then we'll check it okay you guys let's check our so right here we're gonna go ahead and add the cup of we're gonna add the corned beef
Look at all that knuckle, <laughs> all that uh, fat. <laughs> I just like cooking all that fat in there too. It uh, gives me a little, uh, makes, adds a little oil in there. And you guys, uh, that's what's good about Polynesian food is you can be creative with it. Just. Uh, Whatever you think, how you want to make it, then make it that way, you know? I mean, you can make this in different ways. So this is a, a different way. This is another way of making uh, lupulu in a wok. If you don't like it this way, it's okay. It's all right. People are different. People make different things. And we should all respect that should all respect how how different people cook but as long as it tastes good right if you don't like the way it looks you the way it's cooked it's okay it's all right not everybody is the same everybody makes things differently and and i'm just trying to be creative with our poly food you know with our different kind of uh foods i am just trying to be creative with it okay so from here let's go ahead and so we'll let that cook a little bit let that marinate in there okay so what we're gonna do here is let's take it all it doesn't have to be in a in a um, you know exact order of size, you just grab it. Take half of it, throw this up. So we take this, just kind of fold that in. And we're just gonna cut, slice it like this. All we're gonna do we're gonna slice that up get the next bunch cooking nicely. Go ahead and add our glue. Add your glue in there. And again, you guys, uh, for those of you who are professional glue makers, I, am, I don't have any tomato in my house. It's a Sunday 
And I am not going to the store to get tomatoes. Um, I made this, decided to make this last minute. Today I was just gonna make some crawfish, but saw the loo and decided to go ahead and make it and knowing that I don't have any tomatoes. So, so don't, don't come at me, okay? Y'all don't come at me. I already know I don't have tomatoes. Okay, so right now we're gonna add our coconut milk. Okay, add your new. Just pour it right on top of the loo. Add your new right on top of the loo, okay? that up let's mix this up mm, you can smell this it smells so good We're just going to bring that to a boil and then it should be done. I'm going to add some more garlic in here. Season it really good, y'all. Some more obey. Some more lemon pepper. And some more all-purpose seasoning. And some paprika. Look how that muscle has not opened up yet. I want it to open up. So. I just, just don't cook it very long. Okay, you guys, so we're making potato salad. Just be careful. Uh, you can let the potato cool completely or um, it's cooled down a bit. I can touch it as long as it's cool to the touch and you can be able to work it.
paprika in here. Got some salt, sea salt. Onion, so it's bits of onions. Add some garlic, garlic powder. Okay, and instead of using mayonnaise, I'm using trying to go the light way and using light sour cream. Okay, so it's going to be a little bit new to a lot of you guys. But uh, trust me, it's good, it's just still delicious, just like mayonnaise. It's just a little lighter. I'm using parsley. Parsley has a really delicious flavor to it. You gotta try it if you've never tried it before. Add some basil in there. guys our potato let's try it potato salad is ready let me try it that is very delicious so I'm going to add a little bit more sea salt and some more paprika a little bit more paprika okay crawfish it looks ready our crawfish is done. Okay. Okay, we'll just leave the the lid off on that. Okay, you guys, our loo is done. Our loo is ready. Okay, we're going to use some heavy whipping cream here as our base. Okay.
Okay, so let's go ahead and peel these oranges. Okay, you guys, my hand blender, I mean my blender, is just not cooperating. So I'm gonna use my hand blender here to blend this. Okay, you guys, so we're done, um, we're done shredding our, blending our orange. So now I'm just adding four bottles of water. Okay, you guys, so we're gonna add our crushed pineapple. Okay, so we're going to add some sweetened condensed milk. And you can always use regular sugar if you want to. Um, I do have some swing condensed milk so I'm going to use that in here to sweeten it so it looks like our bowl is pretty full so I'm going to transfer this over to a larger bowl I'm gonna add one more swing condensed milk because it's such a big bowl. Maybe half of this. And again, you can use regular sugar in here if you want to, to sweeten it. Okay, you guys, let's give it another taste. Oh my, oh my goodness. I hope you guys try it. It is so delicious. I'm just gonna add another bottle of water because it's very rich right now. But the orange flavor, it is out of this world so delicious. 
Believe me when I tell you that. It is perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay, you guys. Back, okay? 